welcome to another router gods video my name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take a look at distribute lists inside of RIP we're looking at topology 0 which is our two routers and two loopbacks and RIP is already running so what I want to accomplish is you know that in RIP if I used a network all zeros command in the routing process I'm throwing all of my interfaces into RIP and both of these routers are advertising the loopbacks to the other router and just to verify that, we go over to router one's console window. We'll show IP route. And you can see we have a route to the all twos address, which is the loopback zero of router two. Okay, so very simple. All this means is every 30 seconds, both routers are flinging updates at each other about that loopback address. What we want to accomplish with distribute list is we want to be able to block or kill those updates either leaving outbound, going out from router 2. So as it goes into router 2 and tries to leave towards router 1, it's killed. Or we can kill it inbound on router 1. So we let it leave router 2, go over to router 1, and then it's killed on this side. In effect, what this will do is if the update doesn't reach router 1, router 1 eventually will not know how to get to the loopback address of router 2. Why would you want to do this? Well, it could be security, could be you're troubleshooting a network problem, could be many things, or uh, your CCIE lab tells you to do so. But however, uh, whatever it is for, it's actually very easy to accomplish. But first, because this is RIP and the timers are every 30 seconds, we could be waiting a long time to see things. First, I want to change the timers. So I just go conf T router rip timers basic this was shown in a previous video and we'll make it uh, three seconds how about that timers basic three okay maybe it doesn't like that timers basic three and invalid timer let's make it six hold down we'll make it also six and flush timer uh, let's make it six and we're done okay so timers basic three and three sixes very appropriate okay we go over to router two router rip timers basic three six 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 that looks pretty good to me and now we're going to go back to router one we're going to first create an access list that will match this address the all twos address So access list one, and we're gonna deny it, all twos address. Then we're gonna do access list one, and we have to do a permit any, because if we don't do this, this distribute list is going to kill everything. So the first order of business is to make an access list that will match the IP addresses of the networks you want to filter out or allow. Then we're going to go into the RIP routing process, so router RIP, going to start off with distribute list so distribute dash list the next thing it asks for is the access list number so we made access list one question mark and you can see it gives us the option to filter incoming or outgoing in this case we want to filter incoming and then you just have to specify the interface address in our case it's fast zero zero and you would be done however we're not going to do that just yet. We want to get a before view, so show IP route. You can see the all twos address right there. We probably want to do debug IP routing here. And this will let us see changes to the routing table. And now we're going to run the distribute list. So distribute list one, question mark, inbound, so in, fast zero zero. Type in enter. And we wait six seconds, and we should see something coming up on our screen. And there we go. Delete route to all twos address. No routes, entering hold down, all this wonderful stuff. And then we have the route blown away. Let's exit out of there. Show IP route. And you can see here that indeed, I do not have an R route. It is gone completely blown away but if I pull over router 2 
and I do a debug. Whoops. Let's do a debug IP rip. A debug IP rip sounds good. You could see that I am still sending updates towards router one. You can see that 22900 or 224009. That's the multicast address. I'm still sending those updates every three seconds. It's just that router one is choosing not to accept them. So that is the power of a distribute list. In our case, we are killing it inbound on router one. Okay, now let's see if we can kill it outbound from router two. And to do that, let's undo what we did on router one. So we go into router rip, no distribute list one in complete command. So we have to do everything. No distribute list one incoming inbound fast zero zero. Hit enter. And because we have our debugs on, you can see our two route is back. It's pretty cool. Okay, now let's see if we could filter it outbound on router two. Pretty much the same deal. We first make an access list. Oh, whoa. First, we have to kill this debug, you all. Now we make an access list. So access list one, deny all twos. Access list one, permit any. So that's pretty easy. Now go, going into router rip, distribute list. Now everything is going to be the same here, except instead of in, we just put in the word out. And it's going out fast, zero, zero. Before I type that in, I'm going to move over my router one console window. Go back to router two, hit enter. Go back to router one. Wait about six seconds and you should see something flying across the screen. There we go. Delete, delete the route. And now that route is blown away from the IP routing table. And we can just verify that show IP route and it's no longer there. It's like magic. So this filtering it outbound on router two might actually be a cleaner way of doing it, depending on your perspective. And the reason is you don't have those hello packets flying across towards router one. So uh, a cleaner implementation of filtering out your network updates. All right, so that was a quick and easy video as, of distribute lists. Remember all it is, is you are filtering updates either outbound from a router or inbound from a router. You're killing those updates and by that way, by doing that, you are no longer able to reach a particular network from your router. Thanks for watching.